Hey Realmwalkers, I'm Sarah Sorbus, and I hope you're having a pretty good day today. And if you're having a shit day, definitely come and hang out, because at least here, you're not going to get shit on. <laughs> We're now in episode 21 of Stranded Among the Realms, which is an extreme difficulty playthrough of Nightingale. And today, we've got a lot of stuff to do. I've got to go back out to the Herbarium Realms, and... Just farm up a bunch more essence so that we can get more stuff. We need to do more unlocks. We need to unlock all the building types, the desert sets, the shack sets. Um, we need to get the um, hearth. Well, there's a bunch of stuff that we need. And uh, yeah, we need to do that. Um, so yeah, that's pretty much it. Oh, and if you're noticing, there's actually a garden around us. I spent the weekend kind of sprucing up the place. Uh, you can see that in my video, in my cozy video, if you check it out, I'll link it up in the corner somewhere. Here, probably. Uh, go watch that if you haven't already. Uh, anyways, we should probably, uh, we should get to it, yeah? I think one of the things we need to do first is actually get ourselves... Well, we're gonna need food. We're gonna need food. Uh, we could make more cutlets, I suppose. Salads and lunar nectar. Yeah, let's, let's do that. So let's get these three. Nope, not mixed plants. There we go. These three worked out really well for us. So let's keep doing this. 1260. Oh, that's 1260. It's a. Hmm. That's frustrating. Cured meat is 1080. I'm looking at the effect duration. So, Cutlet has an effect duration of 1260 seconds, while Le Lunar, Lector, Lunar Nectar and Salad both have an effect duration of 1080. Um, yeah, let's make more. Let's make more frishes. Let's see, what, what do we need for salads? We need it. You know what, let's change the recipe for salads. Um, because I don't want it to be that involved like before. That's just so much. Let's put that away. We're also going to need 15, 15 more tomatoes. And five glass. Let me put a glass. Looks like we don't have enough glass. Fantastic. So let's make some glass. I don't think these will help because they don't have stats with need. Magic power, maybe. Anything with magic power? Just rock quartz, okay. And we need how much of these? Five, so we're gonna need ten. Note yourself. Mine more quartz. Okay, let's debone this fish. Cross we need uh, five spice. Uh, what else do we need? Oh yes, lunar nectar. But we don't have enough glass. Oh yeah, we do. Yeah, we do. Har har. Okay, we're gonna need one mixed plants and one spice. Oh wait, we're gonna need mixed plants. Ooh, ten. We don't need ten. Oh, 
five salads and five fish cutlets. We've got too many blue nectars. Also, I made some tea and crumpets just to see what they would do. They're not bad, but they're not better than you know the salad, cutlet, and lunar nectar combo. I mean, it does give you rest. Like that's really a big deal, I suppose. Like if you're super tired. But honestly, just, you know, make a sleeping bag and take a nap. Like, if you're down on rest, I mean, I suppose if you're in the middle of a fight or something like that, you really need rest, then I guess slug one down. But you shouldn't be in that position in the first place. <sighs> like, you should always strive to go into places prepared. And so... Things like tea and crumpets and coffee, I feel like it's more of a... If you're out there farming all day, and you're tired, you want to keep... Like, if you want to do one last round, that's when that's that's really great. Okay, now let's... Uh, do we go back in forest herbarium, or do we go into desert? Okay, before we go into the desert herbarium, let's grab some tools. We're going to need that, and spyglass. Um... We should bring this stuff too, just in case we find a follower, because we need to hire one and have them follow us. So let's bring those. Oops, we don't need two pairs of pants. Ooh, which one's better? This one's better, it has more health. So, although your companions have your gear score, like the stats on your your the clothing you give them, like, still helps. So definitely give them that stuff. Uh, let's see, do we give them a sickle? Sure, sickle sounds good. Okay, reopening, reopening. Ole! Really, a knight right there. Let's sneak away from him. How do I find us? Richter. We'll fool him. We'll be like, where'd they go? He won't be fooled. Oh no. That was weird skipping there. Is he still chasing? Like, I would stay and fight them, but there's a thing right there, and we're going to get pounced on. Like, in the middle of a fight, things are going to spawn, and we're going to get absolutely destroyed, so avoid those fights. It kind of sucks that it's kind of around the realm portal, though. And it kind of sucks that our stuff isn't quite... Up the party. Okay, perfect. I was kind of hoping that this would be here. Let's go over in the sun. Or maybe over by the rocks. There's a scorpion. 
two elephants. Okay, let's actually head this direction so we don't get aggroed on. And, um, you might hate me for this, but uh, I'm gonna go fishing real quick. <laughs> I wanna. I wanna get some fishies. You're probably like, go fishing on your own time. That's, you know, that's valid. I'll probably just cut most of this. And for those of you who want to know how to fish, it's actually pretty easy. Um, the game kind of tells you what to do. It's nothing as complicated as, say, like RDR's fishing. But like, that tension meter, you want to keep it in the middle, I guess, as they say. And all that means is point your, your rod in the direction opposite where the fish is going. And I mean, while pulling at the same time. And you pull by holding down the left mouse button. So here. If this fish goes left, then we turn our like our rod to the right, trying to keep it in the middle. While reeling it in. And if your stamina ever runs out, like if there's a really tough fish that you're dealing with, just let go of the left mouse button and allow your stamina to recharge. I'll try and show you. But none of these are hard with, a, uh, with this kind of fishing rod. They definitely need to comp add more complexity to the fishing minigame in this game. As it is, you can this is not a challenge at all. RDR2 honestly has one of the best fishing minigames in an open world RPG. The way they handle it is just absolutely fantastic. There's so much depth. And a, a difficult, like I said, Simple learning curve, but difficult to necessarily master, especially since fish themselves have different difficulties. Here, the only real difficulty is these level 30 fish are more uh, combative. I feel like distance, how far you toss the lure, helps get you the higher higher level fish, but not always. I don't know, maybe it's just random. Stop with the tens. Also, I think one thing that the game should do is not tell you which fish is on on your hook. You should just tug. And that, that will bring more challenge to it because you don't know what tactics to use. I mean, obviously it's simple because there are only two different fish types and they only have two different tactics. But once they do change things, they should take away the ability to see what fish is hooked. 
There we go, 10. Finally, that took a very long time. Let's get back on the road. Is this a defend place with no defenders? What's going on? Oh, there he is. Recordable carry and the company Leonard. Alright. I guess we'll hire a carry here. Hey, carry. Recruit. First things first, let's take that, that really. Let's just, let's just transfer all the crap. Uh, let's give her this. Let's now scrap all this. Uh, we could give her a backpack back because it gives her 10 more health, but um, uh, I don't know. Sure. Alright, now let's look for some loot. Okay, Palo Seed, which we don't need. No! I like how they can just teleport up here. Hunter card, heal infusion. It's like I want to teleport places. Oop. I almost fell off there. Okay, Fate Tower we don't need to do. That's just a big waste of time. Because honestly, if we need to change the realm. If we need to transmute it or something like that, we can just build a transmuter. Who's just tent way the fuck out there? But there's nothing else in between. Um, so maybe we don't go that way. Who's the most hunger? We're actually on the hunt for essence, but we're not finding any POIs that, uh, that matter. Do we want to... let's try turning support. Never mind. Is it down here? Can you hear that? The um, the hope thing. Oh, I just realized we have no crude selves. 
until until that point, until we, we got some. That was uh, probably a bad thing. over here. I think I remember seeing something like this in a different... Uh... Nope. Oh, it's over here. In a pagoda-style building. What? Expedition of the Realms, Quartermain's Diary. The journey to a desert realm through New Kerno was disappointing. St. Augustine is exactly rural England, a twee pastiche down to the Tudor housing and cottage gardens. Shamefully, the verdant forest... Shamefully, the verdant forest realms were plastered over. If someone had asked me, I would have told them that recreating England holds little value over the original life of the land. However, to pass through the intangible surface of a por portal and arrive in a yet unexplored realm, what divine intoxication. It is here we may transcend the limits of society and experience humanity as nature intended. Hudson immediately took to his craft, where, whereupon he stumbled upon, across a curious, glabrous creature. The alien nature of it compelled Hudson to stop charting and draw the curiosity. Eilish found a suitable spot for camp and proceeded to survey for any foodstuffs to bolster our provisions. Eilish knows the value of preparation, and her efforts will stave off future mishaps. Good job, -o. That's quite a lot. I was gonna tear it down, but um, that's not happening. <laughs> Trying to reach the roof. Yeah, that's not gonna happen anytime soon. Sandstone or burning sandstone? Because once we start doing uh, Tudor stuff, then we're going to need a whole lot of it. Hello there. I'd help you out, but you need lumber and. Uh, yeah, that's a no go. Whoever's out here is... Wait, there's no one out here. Oh, weird. Two coffee seeds, very cool. Love to see it. Two papyrus seeds. I haven't seen that yet. That's awesome. Um, you know what we should do? We should let's make a little bedroll. Okay. I should be playing. I just want to, you know, get a bedroll down so we can rest and uh, take a quick short nap. Just to get our, our rest meter up. 
Ah, uh, what's the time? Okay, we got plenty of it. Let's uh, let's keep on going. Let's look for more. Okay, the question is, do we head this way, or head this way? Let's go this way. We're extremely unlucky with our POIs. I thought those were shells for some reason. Oh, 20. Could we take them? 72. Actually, it would be this weapon. 75. So, 75 versus 120. We could probably take them. In fact, it'd probably be pretty easy. But... It won't get us a lot of essence now, will it? We'll just end up wasting time. Is this a combat arena? the nest. We want this guy dead first. We're stuck there? That was BS, by the way. I just wanted to say that. Ah. Give me a second to uh, heal. I'm kind of annoyed that I got stuck right there. Like I couldn't move anymore. Everything was going real well up until that point. I miss him. I think I missed him. Oh, man. Carrie's getting beat down. Sorry, Carrie.
hate when they vanish from your line of sight. Come over here, guys. I want to separate you from your little bombardier. Carrie, can you please continue the assault on this guy? I think what I need is a um, turn of gear. Can can we do some please? Are you dead? Oh no, you're dead. This can take a while. That was also cheap. Let's go back towards here so that we don't uh, accidentally despawn them. Because if you fight too far away, they'll just disappear and come back. But with full health. Or the loose side of these. And we'll just waste ammunition, I guess. Watch them have a uh, regen. That would suck if we regen. Whatever, dude. Probably a couple of them did, but that's okay, that's okay. I feel like I hear that guy. Oh, finally. We got one. I hate that they can just get up instantly after getting knocked down. That's just stupid. I need to give her a wall, but we can't. We gotta wait until we have a refined one.
We're out of food. That's how long this entire fight has taken. That's why I'm avoiding fights, because it takes so much time. It just wastes so much time fighting. Um... Like, I don't... Like, the rewards in Extreme is very nice, but seriously? The fact is, it's not worth it, because of the time you spend just doing this. Not a bad one. Stamina. That's because we need food. This guy needs to die. Ah, oh, missed. Out of stam. Out of stam. Yeah, we got one. Good job, Gary. I'm the one that's sucking. more stamina. Who's closest to dying? Probably that one. Man, bullshit. If you're knocked down, you fucking not be able to attack instantly. Especially if you just go. Good job.
keep more stands. Stay down. Stay down. Do you know what I mean? Like, you knock him down. If he's stun locked, somebody can swing out of it. That's such shit. God, this fucking heat sucks. Fucking annoying. That fight took way the fuck too long. And for what? Let's let's look at our rewards and see if it's any good. This is what I mean, like again, extreme is fun, it's very fun, but it's also like I've said it before in a different episode, but it's tedious. Because all it does is make you take so much longer to kill these things. Charm of flanking, 38 tier 2 essences. Was that worth it? No. 100% no. We could have spent all that time doing something else. Okay, let's keep going. Somewhere better? Let's head west. Let's go around this way. We'll head west and then northwest. And... Well, we'll see. We'll see what happens. Let's try and do that. Oh, we finally came to one that isn't nonsense. That isn't a five hour fight. Come on, reset. That took a while. See, like, this also gives us 38 tier 2 essence. Why would we ever do a fight that just uses up all kinds of resources when we can just do this? Like, what the fuck? Okay, um, is this... No. Let's head up here. Let's see if we can get up on a mesa. Actually, what we need to do is switch this. Ah, <laughs> oh, I thought they fixed the shakiness. Is this a fight? I think this might be a fight. <sighs> no, no, it's a thingy. It's a, um, it's an intelligence place, right? Yes, this is worth doing. Because this does take time, but it doesn't use up a ton of resources. Oops. Oh jeez, oh jeez. Aha.
Kampagne würde gerne soaring. Okay, how many more are there? There's one, two. So two more out here somewhere. One last one. Okay, where's the last one? Hmm. I can kind of hear one close, but I just don't know where it is. Maybe we're hearing that one down there. Taking this box. But where or oh where would it be? Oh my god, it's right here. We passed it five times. Yeah, like I said, y'all are probably like, it's right there. Just Click it, touch it, just touch it. I saw it, okay? I saw it eventually. Okay? Jeez. Don't gotta be like all judgy and anyway. whatever. <laughs> no, that's cool. That's cool. 148 tier 2 essence. That was worth it. It may have taken us 10 minutes to find it, but that was worth it. It's definitely better than 10 minutes of just running around the desert in a circle with your axe out. So. I mean, they got their own. They're different kinds of fun, I suppose, but um, that feels a lot more fun than a tedious swing fest workout, if that makes sense. Let's try and get up on that, that plateau over there. Try this one. Phew, or anything food.
We basically double our stamina with our current food. Isn't that crazy? This is not, this is not cheap enough. There we go. We need to get over there, because that's the friendliest. Really? We're tripped up on that. Huh. No, climb up. What is that? Is that another one? It is. Well, let's go do it, because like 150, we can't say no to that. That you ever, ever, this is a good, never forget, never forget. You used that phrase wrong, Sarah DeSarvis. No, I didn't. Doing a circle there. Maybe three, four, three. Barely see it against the sun. Right there. Okay, one last one. It should be up here. Or not. It's not in here either. Okay. It's always the last one, isn't it? It's always the last one. I think it's over there. Oh, in here. 
Ta-da! Okay, 150. Hell yeah. And a frying pan. Very hell yeah. Where are we at? Should we go talk to the essence trader? I think we should. Let's go to the southwest. Also, we need to sleep. So actually, let's, let's make a sleeping bag while we have shelter here. Sorry, a bedroll. Uh, three sticks. Mm. Hey, buddy. Mm. Alright, off we go. Southwest? South, southwest. Oh, I see. Probably over by that thing. I think we can. Can you go nope, over here? Up on the ledge? Okay, fine, fine, fine. Just wanna keep going, don't you? Just wanna keep going. You're like, I gotta get up here. Screw that mini ledge. We have a bigger ledge. The shaking is terrible. I hope this isn't a fighting spot. Please don't be a fighting spot. Okay, good. No. This is, um... Nellie Bly's place, I think. Yeah, there's Nellie Bly right there. Hello, Nellie. We'll talk to you a little bit later, okay? Right now, I want to talk to your uh, buddy, frankly. Let's just snap up everything we can since we got the cash. Okay, that's everything we pretty much need. Um, we may need to go into the swamp though. Hold on, let's take a look. Let's look at the guidebook. Swamp or burial? I mean, we do have to go into the swamp, that's for sure, just to grab whatever other uh, recipes are out there. Ooh, we got this already. We've got the bundle, flanking, brutality. Actually, brutality is a good one to have. Forge, he's Hearth, sorry. Ah, uh, we've already got all that stuff. We got the steamer trunk. We probably need to go get the shack. Do we have the blacksmith's hearth? hearth? I think we do have it already. 
Guess not. So we'll be going into the swamp. Not today though, I think today we are going to be done. So I'm pretty much calling that for the episode today. I uh, hope you all enjoyed. We, did, we didn't get to do a whole lot, we just went and hunted for essence. Which is pretty much what we're going to do next time too. And then after that I think we're going to build our tutor house. Or at least the first level of our tutor house. And then after that we're going to go after the gloom side of power. So yeah, hope you all enjoyed, and I'll catch you all later, alright? Peace.